Hello everyone, this is Luigi Quaranta. I will present the paper Towards Productizing AI ML Models, an industry perspective from data scientists. These days, product features based on AI, and machine learning in particular, are being massively integrated into software systems. But turning ML models into production-ready components that can be seamlessly integrated into live systems is a complex endeavor bringing new challenges that still lack consolidated solutions. Typically, organizations that build AI-enabled software adopt one of the following two approaches. On the one hand, the data science team might craft the best performing model and hand it off to the software engineering team. The latter then componentizes the model and integrates it into the final application. This strategy entails unavoidable inefficiencies due to the necessary porting and reworks, as well as the typical shortcomings in the communication between data scientists and software engineers. On the other hand, the organization might let the data science team handle the whole model life cycle, including its integration, with obvious limitations due to the typical tools and practices of data scientists, generally lacking the support for production level development. One example is the use of computational notebooks, and in particular, their most popular implementation, the Jupyter Notebook. To gain a better understanding of this challenge and figure out how it is perceived by practitioners, we organized a workshop at Prometea, an Italian consulting company. Prometea is a provider of consulting services, software solutions and economic research. Its core business is focused on risk, wealth and asset management, and its main clients are banks, insurance companies and institutional investors. The workshop was held in Milan, Italy, in the fall of 2019. We invited the whole data science team of the company and 18 of its members attended, 3 women and 15 men. In particular, 4 people attended remotely from the Bologna headquarters of the company. The participants had a varied educational background ranging from computer science to mathematics and statistics. Overall, the workshop lasted two hours and a half. During the first hour, one of the academic authors of the paper gave a nice breaking presentation about his review of the most promising software solutions for reproducible AI experiments. The remaining one hour and a half was dedicated to a brainstorming session in which the attendees shared their ideas on the themes introduced during the presentation. Later, we performed a thematic analysis on the transcripts from the brainstorming session, extracting the most relevant themes. One of the themes that caught the interest of our workshop participants the most was the role of computational notebooks in their typical workflow. We collected diverging opinions on this. Some of the attendees deemed the notebooks as indispensable tools that cannot be replaced even with tools that, for example, ensure better experiment reproducibility. Their storytelling capability, as well as the interactivity that they provide, are simply too valuable in practice. Others pointed out that notebooks don't scale to the production stage and need to be integrated with traditional development environments, for example, by transferring consolidated code to a structured code base. A few attendees were more radical and claimed that notebooks should be dropped as soon as possible during the development workflow, as some of their features, for example, nonlinear execution of code cells, can easily become a trap while the code keeps growing. Nevertheless, none of the workshop participants ever questioned the importance of using computational notebooks. Conversely, opinions diverged about the identification of the right step in the workflow when notebooks should give way to standard code. Many of the workshop participants also expressed the desire for specific notebook features. For instance, notebooks completely lack support for code testing, and this obviously translates into a lot of code being tested only when transferred to a more structured code base. Moreover, most of the time, a single successful computation results from a long series of explorations and failures. Notebooks should be able to store an explicit history of the whole trial and error process 
supporting multiple versions and branching. In this context, as notebooks are often employed in data-centric programming, data versioning capabilities are often deemed essential too. Additionally, messy execution and the lack of a solid dependency management system typically hinder the reproducibility of notebook code. Novel notebook functionalities addressing these problems might be greatly beneficial. One example is a system that automatically infers the right execution order of notebook cells. Ultimately, some of the most experienced attendees stressed the importance of the definition and validation of a set of best practices to be shared across the team. One also suggested that knowledge and expertise sharing is key to smooth out the cultural differences between data scientists and software engineers and improve collaboration across the team. The lessons learned from the workshop have been really valuable for both the academic and industrial authors of the paper. When we first met, the Prometea data science team was still in its infancy. The workshop triggered a rapid evolution in terms of tools and best practices, an evolution that is still in progress today. As future work, we plan to run a field study to further assess the role of computational notebooks at the company and identify their optimal life cycle. Thanks for the attention. Okay, so we are back. So we had a short meeting with the authors. Uh, so while waiting for questions to arrive, since we have only three minutes, let me ask a first question. Uh, so uh, what you analyze in the paper, uh, Luigi, is essentially one specific instance, I will say, of this computational notebooks. How that one generalized to the more generic research question that you had at the beginning of your presentation? Yeah, sure. Good question. Um, well, are uh, more and more adopted by data scientists in the, the preliminary in the in the preliminary phase of a machine learning project when doing uh, data explorations and model prototyping. So, uh, to mm, the, the, the most uh, the code uh, written in computational notebooks is uh, uh, of high quality. Uh, most of the, that code can be then. Uh, brought to production, to the production stage. So by enhancing computational notebooks and uh, the, the, the quality of the code written within computational notebooks. Okay, we also Luigi, so, so, yeah, sorry to interrupt. There are other questions. Uh, uh, what about VMV? That's a question from Lionel. The verification and validation needs for notebooks. Because other questions are coming and sorry, but we have really short time. Okay, so uh, yes, notebooks, uh, uh, in notebooks in, in notebook uh, you, you you can of course do uh, uh, some kind of validation and verification but uh, you are quite limited uh, in in the core uh, platform and there are plugins that uh, enable in some way uh, to uh, to do some more uh, verification of, of what uh, of the experiment that is uh, performed but uh, it is not native so I, I believe that by in by including more uh, of these functionalities in the core uh, notebook platform, Jupyter notebook platform, uh, researchers would be and uh, data scientists would be encouraged to do more uh, verification and validation with at least okay. having the linkers like for IDE. Uh, mm -hmm. And then there is a question from Ibiza about uh, the, uh, does it mean that data science and software engineering should work together on a daily basis with continuous uh, deployment? Yes. Then there are other few questions uh, later on that, okay, let's see, but the time is short. Go, please. Okay. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, they should uh, work together on a daily basis. And uh, I believe that also the operations team should be involved uh, because the stakeholders in, in the process of building AI-enabled systems are many. And at least uh, we should... Uh, at least th those categories of stakeholders should be involved. Uh, together on a daily basis to okay time is almost over so okay. sorry